Design trends come and go. Today I'm going to feature the single trend that I think was most popular in 2022 and whose popularity will continue through 2023. And that design trend is, drum roll, neo-brutalism or new brutalism. It's a particular aesthetic that's really characterized by four different factors. First, high contrast strokes, high contrast hard shadows, vibrant color schemes, and playful graphics. Now, as you can see, all of these designs exhibit these four characteristics, and it's something I personally don't mind as a design trend. Now, of course, it's not going to be a trend that's transformative, such as flat design. However, it's another particular aesthetic that you can approach when building a design system. So I'm going to keep on showing some notable examples, and then afterwards, I'm going to show you how to apply this trend in the context of a card. All right, what we have here is a traditional card. Now, this is pretty much flat, except for this uh, real soft shadow. We're gonna turn this into a neo-brutalist approach. So I'm gonna move this over here, and the first thing we're going to do is get rid of this really soft shadow. You really don't see this aesthetic with neo-brutalism. So we're gonna go ahead and remove that drop shadow. Then we're gonna go ahead and add a high contrast stroke. And we're going to make it round three, pretty thick, and we're going to add that same type of stroke on the photograph as well. Great. We're going to do the same thing on this card. Now, you don't, or the button rather, you don't have to add this on every element. I'm just choosing to do this, but a lot of the elements will have high contrast borders. All right, so I'm going to add this just like that. We're also going to give it different color. One of the defining characteristics is a lot of different colors, even as demonstrated by this uh, photograph of cookies up there. So we're going to go ahead and change the color, perhaps something to around right around there. That looks good. All right. Another thing that we're going to do is take our container and add a high contrast hard shadow as well. So we're going to add a drop shadow and I'm going to adjust it so that we have four on X and Y and then a blur zero and then make sure the opacity is all the way up to 100%. All right, finally, I'm going to grab a retro graphic. Let me just put it up here and maybe scale it down. Also reduce the amount of stroke. And there you go, that's a pretty good representation of how you apply a neo-brutalist approach in the context of a card design. If you enjoyed this video, check out designcourse.com where you can learn UI, UX design, and more with my custom interactive platform that makes learning this stuff fun and easy.